Hello my friends, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, July 28th, 2020. This is Jennifer. You find me in a brand new location today. This is actually my bedroom. Um, I have mentioned before that we have a long-term house guest and my sewing room is a guest room right now. So I've been slowly taking things out as I need them. And one of the things that occurred to me last week was that if I did some rearranging in my bedroom, I could pull my embroidery machine out so I would have more access to it. And what really started this was I wanted to make the label for my friendship swap mini quilt that we're doing for Talk To Me Tuesday. So I'll give you a really quick rundown of what I did to bring my embroidery machine into my bedroom. First, um, I have an antique dresser over here that was from my grandparents' house, and uh, I, I had stuffed animals and things on top of it because, you know, I'm a 47-year-old woman, and of course I had stuffed animals on top of my dresser. But anyway, so I moved my stuffed animals, and I brought my um, embroidery machine in here, and so it's sitting here, and then this is the back of my bedroom door. This is just like a $9 shoe organizer, um, and this is all of my embroidery thread. And down at the bottom, I have actually sliced the bottom of one of the uh, shoe holders so that I could put a roll of stabilizer through that and then it would stay in place. And then at the top, on the hooks that hold the shoe hanger up, I've hung my um, my embroidery machine hoops. I got it all moved and I, um, I brought my ironing board in and that's what I've been using kind of as a work surface so that I could use my embroidery machine. And I do want to talk a little bit about my swap. I'm not going to show you the front, but I'm going to show you the back. Um, I do have my sleeve on and you can see the quilting. And I'm going to show you guys the label because it doesn't give anything away. I designed that in Brilliance and the text was a font that I had purchased and the butterflies and flowers actually came from a totally different design. I just sort of plucked them out and put them in. And then I designed my um, my name in the software. I'm not saying digitize because it doesn't do it automatically. Like you have to actually draw the design in the software and that turns it into embroidery design. So I did that and I'm really, really pleased with this. This is the first time I stitched my name out. It still needs binding and I still need to sew the label on. Since I had my embroidery machine out, I figured let's do some other embroidery and I talked to my um, family members and asked if anybody wanted any more masks or anything that I could embroider on and the answer was definitely yes. And so I had a couple of ideas. Um, my son really wanted some gaming masks in addition to his space mask. And since I'm still working on masks for him for school, I went ahead and did that. You guys may remember that when I um, made my son's graduation quilt, I designed a 20 sided die shape for the label. Well, I shrunk it down. My lighting in here is so weird, guys. I'm sorry, I have lamps everywhere because this room is not bright. This is actually the 20 sided die. I don't know if you could see that at all. This is actually the 20 sided die. I shrank it down and made it a, just a line where it's like a triple stitch. And then I made one for my son and one for my daughter. Everyone in my family except for me is, is a big gamer. They all play Dungeons and Dragons in addition to video games and other stuff. But anyway, so these are for my kids. And my son wanted something to represent 2020. So this is the same 20 sided die with a one on it. This is a critical fail. So he said this represents 2020. It's been a very one kind of a year. And I had a couple other things that I did. Um, this one is for my husband. It says Dungeon Master. He has been running Dungeons and Dragons games since he was a child. That's why my kids know how, because he taught them. And he's also um, a big Lovecraft fan. So this one little design is meant to go like on a polo. And I've done a couple of those, but I did a repeat of the same design in my software, stitched it out and then made the mask out of that. This is a drawing my daughter did when she was six or seven years old. It's been hanging on my refrigerator for years. And I took it and went over it in my embroidery software to turn it into a little stitched out design. And so this one is for her. I have two more to show. This was made for a friend of mine. This is actually from the first attempt at my friendship swap label. The density was too high on the letters. So my thread kept breaking. So I redid it, but I managed to salvage just one little flower that had already stitched out. And you can see it's the same fabric as the one I made for my daughter, the same on the inside. I was just using up the rest of that fat quarter. And this, guys, this is hand embroidery. This is from my cupcake hand embroidery design that I did years ago, but um, this was one of the test blocks and it says, hello cupcake. And it's again, the same fabric. I was just using up the leftovers of that fat quarter. So I promise I will not show you guys masks every week. This was sort of a one-off 
I was playing with my embroidery machine to see what I could do to make it more interesting. I will say that the Cthulhu mask, because of all of this embroidery, it stands up really stiff all by itself. And um, my husband really likes that because it keeps it away from his face. So that's something to think about if you have access to embroidered fabric or something like that. Just it's, as you can see, it's quite stiff. I had a very Linus heavy week last week because we were trying to finish up from getting everything sorted and distributed. And as you guys know, I have a lot of trouble with my feet. And after I finished all the Linus stuff, that was pretty much my foot time for the rest of the week. So I spent most of my time doing uh, website updates for both the Linus Connection and Phantom and Stitches and just trying to get a lot of paperwork done and anything I could do that kept me busy and I was sitting. I did crochet a little bit but I didn't actually bring that up here with me and it's the same neon blanket I've been working on. I just added a few more rows so it's not too different from the last time you saw it but you know that's okay. I'll keep plugging away at that and hopefully it'll be done for the August uh, distribution for the Linus Connection. I I do think that is it for me. You guys be sure and stop by Fandom and Stitches next week on Wednesday. We start Jurassic Park. It's going to be a huge quilt along. There are a ton of patterns and that's probably what I'm going to be working on the rest of the day is just getting the first few weeks of that all set up and ready to go. And I, I think that's it. You guys have a very wonderful week. I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. Stay crafty. I will see you next week. Bye.